Hello YouTube, Mr. Jaehoon here. Today I'm here to check out Galata Sweets. If you're sneaking around my YouTube channel, you know how my passion and love about Turkish food and Turkish cuisine. So here I am at Galata Sweets and we're gonna see what it's all about. Let's go. Yeah. If you love Turkish food as much as I do, then you're in for a treat. I recently discovered a gem of a spot in Dearborn, Michigan called Galata Sweets. This charming bakery is inspired by the iconic Galata Tower in Istanbul and offers a variety of delicious Turkish desserts, including baklava, kunefe, and tulumba. But that's not all. They also have savory items like lahmacun, pide, and a traditional Turkish breakfast. I was blown away by the authenticity and the flavor of their offerings, and I just had to share it with all of you. So come join me on a culinary adventure to Galata Suites in Dearborn, Michigan. Trust me. Your taste buds will thank you. What? For me. Yeah. Let me adjust myself first. We mark. Mashallah. So I adapted myself to Turkish. See? So we have kuymak here, we have lahmacun here. And this is, I think, menemen. Yeah, this is menemen. Poachas. And our manta is on the way. Then we're gonna dig in. The thing is, they don't have bread. They serve kuymak with. Uh, Poacha, this is a Turkish pastry called Poacha. The butter tastes so good, so it's very buttery. I shouldn't eat this too much. I'm gonna leave it to the cameraman. I'm gonna dig into uh, lahmacun. So you're gonna grab the lahmacun, you're gonna put onions. Tomatoes, parsley, and of course, lemon. Then you roll it up, just like burrito. You hear the crunch, right? Okay, now we're coming to the second part of the testing. This is menemen. This is sim similar to shakshuka. Let me show you. Similar to shakshuka. It has tomatoes, peppers, and cheese. I'm gonna use, use my bread to, use, to eat it like the traditional way. By far, my favorite. And also, as you can see, this. Uh, cheese platter. It's all from Turkey. This is tulum, this is kashar, mozzarella, ring cheese, like twist cheese and also eski kashar. So, mm, the olive from Turkey. I'm waiting impatiently for my mante. Yes, it's coming. Brother Omar is bringing my mante. Yes. Hit me with this. Okay, mante. Mante is a Turkish dumpling. Simply, it's very tiny and it has meat in it. And it's served with yogurt and chili sauce. As always, bismillah. I'm speechless. You cannot describe how I miss this. I cannot describe how I miss this. Yes, Peter is here. Oh my God. The smell, sujuk. Look at this, it's, it's, it's not, it's a piece of art. It's not just food. It's a piece of art, look at this. Man, 
I'm speechless right now. It's made fresh. Actually, they recently started doing pita. So I'm gonna grab this one with the sujuk. Okay. Now, now I would say this is a Turkish place. By far the best pita I have, I have had in the in Midwest, actually. The best pita. Enjoy. Waiting for my dessert. Oh my gosh. Opa. Anam, Anam. Oops. Trilice. Kazandibe. San Sebastian, mashallah. I watched this. OMG. I'm not. I'm not gonna eat all of this. I'm gonna just taste it. My wife is gonna get mad at me if I eat all of it. Mashallah. Man, so delicious. You don't even want it. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna get a small bite of San Sebastian with some chocolate. Come on. I was seeing this on TikTok everywhere and I said, what's the point people eating this? But it's worth it, it's delicious. My favorite, the Kazandi beer. Very light, like I thought it was a heavy dish, but very light. And oh, I get the mastic gum flavor, yeah. It has damla sakaza, mastic gum, mastic gum flavor. And of course, trilicha. I don't know why they call it Turkish cake, it's actually from Mexico, I guess. <laughs> This is Mike. I dropped the mic. Overall, the experience was amazing. I, I'm very thankful that we have such a place in Michigan to come and experience Istanbul. As they say, you are a bite away from, uh, the, from Istanbul, actually. It's, it's real. When you come here, you feel the atmosphere and everything. The food was great, and the atmosphere is even greater than food. And the guys, Imad and Omar, oh my God, they're very friendly. So you should, if I were you, I would definitely wouldn't lose time, and I would just call them and make a reservation to go ahead and check out what they are all about. So this is it from, from me for this week. See you next week. Until then, God bless. Take care.